Spackman. Today's episode, we are going to talk about a Z bridge, unless you come from outside the U.S., in which case you call it a Z bridge because you have weird ways to call that particular letter, which we all know is a Z. So this is a Z bridge. We're going to talk about how do we compare two different populations. We have a population of men, here's their blood pressure, and a population of women, here's their blood pressure. And I actually looked it up, they really do have different parameters for their normal distribution. This type of scenario is very common when we talk about comparing between countries or housing prices if you move between cities. So there's a lot of application for this. I like it because it really illustrates whether you understand what the z-score really is for. When you see this, that here's the population for the men and women, I hope this is the very first thing that goes in your mind, is the picture. And I know right now you're thinking to yourself, you can do these questions without drawing the picture. I'm telling you, it's going to help you. I still draw the picture. Eventually you might get good enough that you can draw the picture in your mind without putting it on paper, but please draw out the picture. Here's the distribution for men and for women. Now, my blood pressure is 180. If I tell my wife my blood pressure is 180, she's thinking about her distribution, 180, let's rush you to the hospital, there's something terribly wrong. Well, no, 180 for me would land somewhere around here, which isn't terribly low, it's not rushing me to the doctor. On the same token, my wife's blood pressure of 263, if I'm looking at my graph, 263, whoa, that's a big problem. But on hers, let's see, 263 would be somewhere there, which is high, but not nearly as high as it would look on my graph. So is there a way that I can say, here's my blood pressure, here's what it would be like for you? And the answer is yes. If I take these two distributions and I squish them together, and if I was a really great artist, all three of these would have the exact same normal curve. Because there's only one normal curve, the difference is whether they're centered in the same spot and at the same width. And if I put them on top of each other, the red one is centered at 200, the blue one at 240, and for the standard deviation, the red one at 12 and the blue one at 16. But now I can look at where my 180 landed, and here's where it landed for the red. What would that be for the blue? To answer that, I'm going to look at my z-score. My value of 180, how far is it from 200, divided by 12, which is the standard deviation. And what I get is that it's negative 1.6667. I want you to understand what that means. From here, I am one and two-thirds of these standard deviations away. If I use that same language for the blue distribution for the women, I can say what value would this be for the women's graph. I'm going to take the same equation, and let's put in x, because we want to know where does it land for women, with the women's mean and standard deviation, and I'm going to use that same z-score of 1.6667. In other words, what x value will take me back 1.67 standard deviations? To solve this, I'm going to move the 16 to the other side, and I'm going to add the 240, which gives me an equation that should make a lot of sense. Starting at 240, if I go back 1 and 2 thirds of those 16s, 1 and 2 thirds of the 16s, where does it land? about 213. So on the blue graph, this would be 213. So I tell my wife, my blood pressure is 180. She says, wow, that is super low. No, no, no. For you, that would be like a blood pressure of 213. Oh, I understand that better. We can do the same thing with my wife's blood pressure of 263, which has a z-score of 1.44. So she is a full standard deviation and almost half a standard deviation more. I can put that into the red distribution for men by using the same z-score with the men's mean and standard deviation. When I solve that equation, it makes sense. I'm going to start at 200, because that's my middle, and I'm going to go up one standard deviation and 0.44 more standard deviations. Each standard deviation is 12, and that gives me 217.28. So her value of 263 on the women's distribution is like me having a value of 217.28 on the men's distribution. So now when we say, you don't understand me, we have something that can build a bridge. They tell you love can build a bridge. What you really need is the z-score. We can use the z-score to go between two distributions. And that's how statistics has been saving marriages for the last 200 years.